Hey, what's up YouTube? In this video, I'll be showing you how to make an Xbox One in Minecraft. Here are all of the materials that you will need to make your Xbox. Please do make sure that you have access to all those materials and enough of them as well. And now that we have all of our stuff, we can get started. So, step one, we have to make the base of our Xbox. It's going to be 37 blocks of grey concrete. So, in a row, on the ground, place 37 grey concrete. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 33, 34, 35, 36, 37. Take that 37th block and extend it backwards by 17. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. So what we can then do is extend that 17th block all the way across and we can join it back to where we first started. So in the end, we will end up with something that should look exactly like this. On the front of our Xbox, we have some detail to add to our grey concrete area. Let's start over on the right hand side here. On the front right corner of our Xbox, I want you to place a grey concrete. And then one to the left of it. Three black concrete, one, two, three. And then place three grey concrete, one, two, three. Stick a button in front of that third block and then move over to the left side. Place a grey concrete on the corner, extend it right one, place three black concrete, one, two, three, place three behind, and then destroy the first initial three. So, all in all, the front should look like this, and that's all there is to it. This Xbox is specifically modelled on the Xbox One S, or the, yeah, the Xbox One S, which is actually the one that I'm playing on right now. Hence why it is white, and hence why it's a little bit slimmer, it's got a, a little bit less character, it's a little bit less shapely than your original Xbox. Whereas the original Xbox One, which I still have as well, it is, it's, well, mine's black number one, and it's it's a lot chunkier, and there's more, there's more buttons on the side and stuff, so this one is actually a lot more simple, a lot more streamlined. Now that we have added two rows of grey concrete essentially to the base, and we've connected it all the way around the top, what we then want to do is add a layer of white concrete that goes all the way around the top and outside of the grey concrete. So if you can imagine that the row of grey concrete at the top, we want to place a row of white that quite literally it just goes all the way around the outside top of the grey concrete, just like this. And I'm doing a pretty bad job of it, honestly. Um, I should be doing a bit of a better job. It should be a little bit easier, a little bit smoother than this. But you guys can see what you have to do. And now that we have done that, we can now add details to this area. So this is actually where we are going to be adding a lot more detail, actually. Once again, we're going to start with the front right-hand side of the Xbox, which is over here. And we're going to place a white concrete on top of this corner. And we're going to extend left by three. So one, two, three. We then want to place a sea lantern on top. And then we want to place a grey concrete to the left a sea lantern to the left. We want to place a sea lantern on top of the grey concrete with grey concrete either side. We then want to place sea lanterns on top of the grey concrete with a grey concrete in between the sea lanterns. What we can then do is we can take the middle left grey concrete block and we can extend it to the left by 17, so <laughs> not 17, by 11 extend the grey concrete to the left by 11, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and then stick a light grey concrete on the end, place two white concrete, so 1, 2, extend the white concrete up one, and also down one, 
And then I want you to extend the extended white concrete. So the one that we extended down and the one that we extended up. I want you to extend each of those white concretes to the left. And I want you to line them up with the white concrete that is below. And then, once you have lined them up, I want you to extend them backwards each by three. So one, two, three, and one, two, three, and then join them together. So you've kind of got this shape right here. Now this shape is very important because this is going to have black concrete inside of it. So kind of like hidden inside a little bit of a depth. There we go, that looks fantastic. And that is what we want to have. Now, if you like, you can kind of like fill in the rest of the front of your Xbox using white concrete. And what we are also going to have to do is on top of our Xbox, we want to add two rows of white concrete. So like one and two. So above where the logo is essentially and above where all the disc tray is and everything that we've just made, we want to add two additional layers of white concrete. And that will help to balance out the frame of the Xbox that we have made. And we should hopefully end up, I think I've almost done actually, I've not zoomed out so I'm not quite sure. Yeah, perfect. So there you go. That's what the front of your Xbox should look, should look like. And it looks really good from this angle. Um, you can fill the sides in. So the left and right sides you can just completely fill in using white concrete. Hopefully you guys will figure out that you just have to fill up to where the top of the white concrete is on the front of your build. So just on the left and the right sides just add your rows of white concrete and we just want to build them up all the way up to the top and hopefully that should be no big deal just like this extending up to the top there we go and eventually once we have done the front and the left and the right sides of our xbox we can move on to the back so the back is actually a tad bit different the back actually has a decent amount of detail, but it's, it's not difficult to do actually, it's very simple and I'll show you how. Let's start on the right hand side of our Xbox on the back of the build. I want you to place a white concrete in the bottom right corner of this area and I want you to then place a white concrete to the left of it. I then want you to, we can use any block for this that isn't white concrete, we're actually going to be destroying all of these blocks, so I'm going to use light grey concrete for this, and I'm going to place this sequence of blocks, okay, I'm going to place two light grey concrete, two white, two light grey, two white, one light grey, two white, two 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 light grey, five white, one, two, three, four, five, and then we want to actually place three light grey, one, two, three, and then two white. So, what will that end up looking like? Just like this. Perfect. So, what I'm then going to recommend is the row of three that we have here on the left. Add another row of light grey on top of it. On the right side, where we have the two rows of two, add another layer of light grey on top. Fill in all of this using white concrete. So, fill all the way in between in using white concrete. However, once we have eventually filled all of this in using our white concrete, which shouldn't take too long, we only have a couple more rows to do, and it's only a, a row of 37, and once you have filled in all of these rows, behind the light grey concrete, I want you to place black concrete. All of these holes are power cables, HDMI ports, um, an Ethernet port, I think, as well. I, I can't remember all of them, but there's like three or so, there's like two or three HDMI ports. There might even be a USB in there somewhere as well. But the point is you want to place your black concrete behind all of the light grey, and you want to destroy then the light grey after you've placed the, your black, and then you'll end up with a, a nice series of holes and ports and stuff for your Xbox, which look great. Then, Fill the entire top of your Xbox in using white concrete. Now this is going to be a little time consuming, but no big deal. 
if you want, here's, here's the thing, the Xbox is actually a little bit textured. If, if you have what you might even have an Xbox uh, One S, and part of the Xbox is actually textured in that it's kind of got all these little holes in it. Um, it's kind of almost like mesh or something. I don't quite know how to describe it. it almost looks like bubble wrap or something. But um, it's got all these holes in it. And you can add that detail if you want, but I was finding that in, in adding another material other than white concrete, like if you were to add a quartz or white wool or, you know, whatever you want to use as a, another white material, it, it just doesn't look as good. It doesn't look as smooth. It doesn't look as clean. It is technically more accurate because, as I say, the Xbox does actually have all of these holes and stuff in it, so it is more technically accurate. It is more visually accurate, but it's also more visually unappealing. So, it's, it's up to you whether you want to go for kind of like an accuracy thing or whether you j would rather just have it look good. I would personally rather uh, have it look good. Like, um, I, I think it's always a bit of a balance. You know, you try and make things as realistic as possible, but you also want to make them look good at the same time. There's no point in having, having a really cool looking Xbox and then ruining it by um, adding a texture that isn't 100% necessary. But there you go, there we are. That looks really nice, that looks really clean. There's only one thing that we're gonna do, we could stop there, but life wouldn't quite be complete without the controller, would it? So, we're gonna make the controller. I'm gonna make mine somewhere towards the left side of our Xbox, okay? So, I mean, if you wanna make yours in a similar position, feel free or just chuck this wherever you like. Um, I'm gonna line it up probably where we have this hole, but like this, um, I think this is a USB port, but I can't remember. Where we have the grey concrete here, that like with the black concrete above it, I'm going to leave a gap of say one, two, three, four, five, and then I'm going to start making the controller. So from a bird's eye position, I want you to place three white concrete to the right. So one, two, three. Place one going down bottom right diagonally, and then I want you to place five to the right. One, two, three, four, five. Place an upright diagonal and two to the right. Two bottom right diagonals, one, two, and seven down. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Bottom left diagonal, go left by two, one, two. Go up one, and place two up left diagonals, one, two. Go left by four, one, two, three, four. Place a black concrete, with a white concrete on the end, go down one, bottom left diagonal, down one, left by two, up left diagonal, up by seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, up right diagonal. That will give us this shape. That is fantastic. Come back to your black concrete and place an additional black concrete on top of it. Go up by two, so up as in like towards the top of the controller. One, two. Take the middle block and extend it left and right, or right and left as I just did. Place a white concrete in the top left corner. Go up one. Place a black concrete to the left. Left one. And then black concrete on top of each of the black concretes, like this. Take the right side of the plus shape and place two white concretes to the right, two black concrete to the right, add a row of black concrete on top, add two rows of white concrete on top of the black, take the second row of white concrete and place two sea lanterns to the left, so one, two, add a row of sea lanterns above, like this, on the opposite side of the white concrete, I want you to place yourself a light blue concrete, white concrete in the middle, lime concrete underneath, red concrete to the right, and finally, a yellow concrete above the white concrete. Next, we simply add a row of white concrete on top of the outer part of our controller. It should be fairly easy to do. Just go all the way around, take the outer part of the controller, kind of like the outside shape, and add white concrete directly on top of it to make it two rows high in total. So, da 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 da, -da. perfect. Then, Fill the center of the controller in using white concrete. Also, hopefully, shouldn't be too difficult. 
it's a little bit tricky in the fact that, I mean, you've got to maneuver around all of these blocks that we've kind of placed floating in the air. But, you know what, who cares, uh, who cares what gravity says? They have a right to be there. And we want to fill all of this in. And we will just be missing. I wonder if you guys will recognize what we're going to be missing at the end of this. So this is what we want to have. And what you can also do, by the way, is the very first black concrete block that we place, you can destroy it and then place a white concrete underneath it. That was just kind of like a guiding block. We are missing the top part of the controller. The bumpers and such. If you come to the top of the controller in the corner here, place a black concrete in the corner. Black concrete along the top of the controller, just diagonally, kind of just like skirting along the sides until eventually you finish in the same place on the opposite side. And there you have your controller. Nice and simple. It actually almost could be a tutorial by itself if you were just making controllers for the fun of it. Maybe I'll make a set of controllers or something. Hmm. That is actually kind of a fun idea. I don't know. I might have to make a poll about that or something. But, ladies and gentlemen, that's your Xbox. I do hope that you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please do remember to hit that like button as it really helps me and the channel out very, very much. If you're new around here, please do consider subscribing and clicking the little bell next to the subscription button. That'll ensure that you get all my videos sent directly to your sub box. And if you do want to make anything else by me, check out the comment system in the description below in the top of the comment section for more. Thank you so much for watching, everybody. I love you all very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.